what we can learn from bees and beekeeping is it's great for mental health. I just feel a lot better, I feel a lot more energized and uh, recharged. Hi, my name's Mark Berman. I'm a beekeeper. I've been keeping bees for eight years. Look at that. And in early spring, I got the idea to start a Be a Beekeeper for a Day experience because people seem to be incredibly fascinated and mystified by honeybees. I dig into the bees. I don't use gloves. I get direct contact with the honeybees. And it's just like a load off my mind. And so inside the colony, you'll have three kinds of bees. Because people are so fascinated by honeybees, and because I've learned all this knowledge, I just love sharing it. I don't like beekeeping in a vacuum. So she's kind of like walking sort of straight, looking for open cells to lay eggs. That's what she does with her life. They just get in there and they ask so many questions. They hold the bees. They get so excited by the wax and the honey and the smells. Digging to find your sizes. This is for opening the hive and pulling out frames, What you're gonna do. So come on over this way. We're going to see everything that's inside here, and you're going to hold everything, and you're going to taste the honey, you're going to see pollen, and you're going to show us what a worker looks like and what a drone looks like. Are these workers or drones? That's right. And then grab this with your left hand. And just hold those two pieces up, and just lift it all the way up. And hold it over here for a second, because I don't want the queen to get away. Let's see if we, we'll see. Come over here. Come over here and help me look for a queen. Seems dangerous, but it's really not. And there is so much they can learn about nature and about what honeybees do, where honey comes from, and why we have bees in the city. Lorenzo Langstroth was a reverend who lived in Philadelphia, was a beekeeper, and he invented this style of hive. And I think it's great for people with anxiety and depression to get that relief, especially when we're living in a city that's so congested and there's so much noise and pollution, but there's so much nature in Philadelphia that we can take advantage of for our own benefit. Super fun, and I'm gonna definitely try this again. Aurelia, come here, take a look at this. Remember I told you the larva, it gets older, it turns, turns into a pupa? Okay, the scariest part was mostly the bees, like when they sprayed the smoke um, thing. It was the most scariest because it was like, all the bees were swarming around. Um, it's been a few minutes, so it stopped doing that. But, and the funnest thing was getting the honey. It was delicious. Don't drop, don't freak out. There's no reason to freak out. These honey bees are minding their own business, just like the other, just like the other kids at recess. They can't survive if they don't work together, and they each have roles. It's something we can all learn from. Mm. Right? Sure. Am I right? Now suddenly you're getting the idea here. You say, oh, that's why he does this. Go ahead, do it again. No double dipping. I'm just kidding. Go ahead. 